Do you think Donald Trump would follow the Constitution if he were elected to a second term? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, you always want to think someone will, but I don't know. You know, when you, when you go in and you talk about revenge, when you go and you talk about, you know, vindication, when you go and you talk about what does that mean? Like, I don't know what that means. And only he can answer for that. What I can answer for is I don't think there should ever be a president that's above the law. I don't think that there should ever be a president that has total immunity to do whatever they want to do. This was Nikki Haley on Meet the Press on NBC News. And yeah, but what does this say about um, the Republican Party today? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Melvin. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Germany. And I'm very interested in politics and also topics which affect us generally um, and also topics which will be affect my future so let's move on so donald trump is or could be the front runner of the republican party but the steps towards his nominee are very clear and everybody can see that he could be the nominee but here are some examples why it could be very hard for him and a tough time to be the nominee look at this series of clips in venezuela did you just see maduro venezuela well, it's uh, unbelievable we're getting rid of the romneys of the world we want to get romneys and those out but they know that we are the only ones who can stop them we're the only ones this is the greatest movement in the history of our country maybe in the history of any country even argentina they went MAGA. You know Argentina, great guy. He's a big Trump guy. He loves Trump. I love him because he loves Trump. When he called, I took his call. And me, Anybody that loves me, I like them. I said, Abdul, he's still there. He's the head of the Taliban. He said, you're killing us all. Just don't do it anymore because terror will rain down on you. And he called, yes, yes, your highness. He called me your highness, which is interesting. We are a nation that just recently heard that Saudi Arabia and Russia will be doing. Oh. <laughs> what? I, I, I don't even. What? What? What happened? What happened there? This was Donald Trump himself, but let's listen to his biggest enemy in the Republican Party, Liz Cheney. What she said some months ago about Donald Trump and how his presidency could change the United States forever. You say Donald Trump, if he is reelected, it will be the end of the republic. What do you mean? He's told us what he will do. It's very easy to see the steps that he will take. People who say, well, if he's elected, it's not that dangerous because we have all of these checks and balances, uh, don't fully understand the extent to which the Republicans in Congress today um, have been co-opted. One of the things that we see happening today is a sort of a, a sleepwalking into a dictatorship in the United States. Yeah, so because of that, it makes sense that Nikki, sa Nikki Haley said that she don't know what will happen if Donald Trump will be re-elected. And if you ask now, why is this important for a European child or teenager? Because it matters. It matters in terms of security. It's true, Europe is very dependent on the United States in security. And when we have someone like Donald Trump in the White House, then it could be very possible that he can say, okay, Europe, you're not so much important for me. The border is more important. So you have in this security, which we have today with NATO and US troops in Germany and in other European countries. So this is very dangerous for us here in Europe. And the biggest thing for me, I guess, could be also other things for other people, but that Donald Trump have said he would be a dictator at day one, and then he will look 
if this is cool or not and something else he said things about that but the thing is if the united states are shifting towards um, an authoritarian regime or a dictatorship of donald trump and it's very possible that he will govern or be president his lifetime until he dies until he dies so that's the issue if this happens then europe and the free world will lost his biggest friend and i think this is not also dangerous for me as a european but also dangerous for the united states themselves